Hey, what's up, folks? I hope you all are having the absolute best week possible. Now, in a few recent videos, we've been reacting to a few college football atmospheres, and I have so thoroughly enjoyed them. I've loved learning about the various colleges in America, and the vibes are just unbelievable. So we're going to continue a little bit with that trend today, specifically reacting to best traditions in college football. I cannot wait for this one. And as always, I'm going to try and guess the colleges by the colors and all that as we go along. Let's see how many I get right this time. Last time I got so many things wrong, especially the songs. Uh, so I'm going to try and do a better, better job, but uh, bear with me, folks. Uh, so yeah, let's, without any further delay, let's get right into it. it. Should be so fun. It should be so fun. just read this quickly please understand i purposely left out some for part two okay so there's gonna be a part two to this video it seems okay let's get into it let's get into it just a very poignant power black black and yellow is this michigan state university guys or is this ohio maybe for a moment here at the end of the first quarter Iowa faithful turning Iowa, and showing love Iowa. and support for the patients and their families right across the way in this dead Iowa Children's Hospital. Oh man. Krista Young from Atlantic, Iowa. That, that is beautiful. Idea. And Levi Thompson operates a Facebook page. That is Got beautiful. This going. That is beautiful. You heard. Well done, Iowa. You guys are amazing. What a what a lovely, lovely gesture. So there's a children's hospital, you know. Um, very close to the stadium and they're having this moment where they acknowledge you know the children and their families in this hospital the children and their families can clearly see the game and they're able to see this definitely an emotional moments very very well done Iowa and also tell Maria Taylor how much it means to those those kids and their it's what families. life's all about folks caring for each other days, Kirk, in those rooms it could be lonely hooked up to yeah. tubes fighting let's go Hawks battles in, in Iowa home games you get a, a special salute very, very cool. Look at them. What Send our love and support too. Beautiful. And now it's Rocky Top time. When you have that kind. Of okay, orange. Is this Tennessee, guys? Orange normally associated with Tennessee. And the field position edge. You have to capitalize. That was a huge, yeah, huge Tennessee for the Volunteers. Let's go. Damn, look at that stadium, bro. If you're Oklahoma, you want to have an answer pretty soon in this place. The vibes. Baker Mayfield knows that. Baker Mayfield, obviously, you know, a very famous quarterback at the moment in the NFL. He must, he, I think he was drafted number one. Um, who is he playing for now? Was uh, Tom Brady's former team. Or was it uh, Buccaneers, right? He's playing for the Buccaneers, I think. This is now special. This is Ohio State's marching band. We just reacted to them in a previous video. Best marching band I have ever seen. You guys in Ohio, man, you have a special, special marching band. Earl Bruce getting the honor of dotting the I today here in Columbus. Beautiful. One of the great traditions that you have to see at least once. The Clemson players file out of the locker room and they board buses to come around the stadium for more on Howard's Rock. Why? To Why are they Center. coming around the stadium? Thanks so much. This iconic rock actually came from California's Death Valley and it's been Clemson's good luck charm for nearly 50 years. Oh, look at that. <laughs> They're touching the rock. So that's that's cool. You know, look, in sport, especially near the highest level, there's a lot of superstitions that come into play because there's such fine margins that separate those at the top. So sometimes superstitions are definitely something to be bought into there. They've got that superstition of touching their like the lucky rock. I got to respect it. I got to respect it. Got some country, baby. I love it. I love it. Everyone waving their pom pom. Mmm. White pom poms. Folks, help me out here. Who is 
this? What school is this? I'm lost. I can't. I can't give you an answer for this one. I'm. I'm stumped with this one. But I love the atmosphere. Alabama and Ole Miss. Pre-game tailgating spots in all of college football. Oh yeah. Add to the mix today's opponent, undefeated Alabama, and this place is filled to capacity. It's unbelievable. Ole Miss fans, that is. So this is clearly a very big game, a big derby game. Um, you folks have let me know that if I come to America and I watch a college football game, I must have the full experience. I must do the tailgating, you know, before the game. I must go to the after parties. So the tailgating before the game is clearly a, a, something to be experienced. I'll definitely do this. And for this game, it must have been next level. I, I recognize Ole Miss because I watched the movie The Blind Side and I do remember Michael Orr, um, who lived with the Tui family, uh, went to Ole Miss University. I think I'm correct in saying that. And obviously Alabama is one of the big juggernauts in uh, college football. So this must have this must be a huge, huge game. That Hugh Freeze, the coach, and Bo Wallace, the quarterback, can lead Ole Miss to its first five and zero record wow. since nineteen sixty two. Ole Miss against Alabama. <laughs> Jump around. I got this song wrong in one of my previous reactions, guys. So sorry, but I do know the song now. Jump around. And this is clearly Wisconsin, right? This is Wisconsin. This is their tradition. Love it. I love this atmosphere. Penn State, Penn State University, Sweet Caroline, baby! Sweet Caroline! So good, so good, so good! Amazing, that is just amazing. This is Virginia, Virginia Tech. And guys, I got the song this time. I know what song is going to come. Enter the Sandman, right? But yeah, funny funny story about the Sweet Caroline song. That is, you know, one of my family members' names. So I always get sent voice notes of folks singing Sweet Caroline. So I've got that song stuck in my head forever. Virginia Tech, I love this tradition. What a song, baby. Look at that. West Virginia. Love the song. Just to pause there momentarily. Whenever I hear that song, it gives me this solemn um sort of nostalgic feel i don't know it's like a homely feel whenever that song pops up i want to know if you also get that type of like warm fuzzy feeling whenever that song comes on or maybe is that just me is that just me mississippi states Are these, are these cowbells? Are those cowbells? They're fishing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. College sports, specifically college football, is just a different beast in the United States of America. I absolutely love it. You will not find that type of atmosphere at a college game anywhere else in the world. That is something very distinct and unique to America. It's part of the culture there, and I absolutely love it. I love the passion 
for the universities and specifically i love the passion for the states because i think that's where a lot of you know that camaraderie develops it's a passion for the state that you live in um, and the universities are a big part of that but folks let me know if there's any other traditions that were not mentioned in this video that are also worth watching or at least worth researching because i absolutely love doing this but if you did enjoy this video please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel i definitely appreciate it but until next time folks i hope you have the best week possible i'll see you when i see you cheers